Here's what I know. Fact. We are living in some of the most, if not the most, polarized times in generations. There are divisions and factions for any question and every issue. We see people and nations responding out of fear as we face endless wars and we are literally living through what we pray is the conclusion of a global pandemic. Fact, we are living in times where it seems like many have lost their moral compass, even those among us who ought to know better. We debate what we used to believe were basic concepts of right and wrong. In some circles, we even argue over whether there is such a thing as right and wrong or whether it exists on a sliding scale which tilts differently depending on the time, day, and circumstance. Here's what else I know. The God that created the heavens and the earth out of nothing, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that parted the Red Sea, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and the fiery furnace is the same God that woke you and me up this very morning. He's the same God that provides for us and protects us individually and collectively every minute of every hour of every day. And because he is that same God, I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that miracles can still happen that hearts can still change, that relationships can be mended, that families can be made whole again, that the lost can still be found. The challenge ahead is monumental, but I am not fearful because I know the God who lives and works in me is bigger than our division and societal issues, bigger than political partisanship, bigger than the naysayers who seek to keep us from our divinely commissioned vocations, I see God at work on the campus of Houghton College. I see what God is doing across our programs as our faculty, staff, and students are challenged, shaped, and prepared through world-class training on our residential campus, online, and through our programs in Buffalo. I see God at work daily as our students are equipped to fulfill their God-given potential in careers in data science, ministry, communications, education, STEM, and the arts. But even more exciting, I see how God is using Houghton College to grow disciples, to make, nurture, and raise up believers. How God is equipping our fearless students for what is our first calling, the Great Commission, to go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey all that Christ has commanded because there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that we cannot accomplish with the power of His Holy Spirit. That's why you're here. You're here because God has led you to this place, Houghton College, at this appointed time to learn, to grow, to prepare for the work that He has called you to do. And we are here, Houghton's faculty and staff, because God has called us and privileged us to be a part of the remarkable work He is doing in and through you at Houghton. And His direction to us is like His direction to Joshua, to be strong and very courageous, to be bold, to be fearless, because even in our most difficult times, He will be with us wherever we go. To God be all the praise, all the honor and all the glory.